Hi, Beth. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm very well. So, uh, Beth, uh, looks like you have some cool items there that I'm, uh, I'm scoping behind your head. Uh, I just had a curiosity, though. What, 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 uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a fine art printer. I work with uh, different artists. So do you have a very large collection of extraordinary things? I do. It's been one of the perks of my of, of doing what I do. Some are gifts. Some are part of the, uh, the, the, the deal. If I'm, let's say, doing a portfolio for a client, part of my deal is maybe I get one or two portfolios. So uh, what, what are you going to share with us today? Okay, so the pictures I have behind me mm -hmm. are uh, two Jerry Schatzbergs. Uh, Jerry Schatzberg um, is a legendary photographer. He did a lot of celebrities, but he's also a movie director. Yeah. And with Jerry, I actually asked him, you know, would you uh, be interested in doing a, a trade? I will audition, you know, your work. And in exchange, you'll give me artwork. <laughs> so I definitely got the better end of the deal. So when you said addition, why don't you just describe what that means? An addition is like how many pictures of each image are there. And so in Jerry's, um, most of Jerry's work, it, he has, I think, uh, 30 pictures per edition. And then he has two APs. And the APs are uh, called artist proofs. Usually the artist proofs are something that the um, artist saves often for themselves. I was given AP1 and AP2 of the, of the prints. So the, the photos behind you, right. um, are those uh, Bob Dylan uh, photos? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> the, these are very interesting photographs because I had done some uh, triptychs and stuff for another photog rock photographer, Mick Rock. And I, I showed them to Jerry, and I said, I'd like to try to make you a couple of um, triptychs. Now, this is very different, because in the now I could do this in, in, in the computer in a couple of minutes. But doing them in the dark room is a lot more uh, difficult. And the one of um, the one near the Bob Dylan with the cross, which I always thought was, you know, a very unique photo shoot. Yeah. Um, with him, Bob Dylan holding the cross. And if you notice, I I actually made the triptych in the shape of a cross. Yeah. What year did you did you do this? In the late nineties. This is awesome that you that you were able to, you know, add your own artistry to these prints. This one over here. Yeah. There's only probably one like that anywhere. There's other ones that are probably very similar, but just because of the positioning in the dark room, they're probably all slightly different. I think I only made about four or five of them. I, I think this image was used, or a version of it was used for Dylan's book cover, Tarantula. I love this. I think you did a great job. I mean, the combination okay. of these three photos, it's just, it's, it's very cool. <laughs> so is there anything else uh, you might want to share yes. with us today, Beth? This is another one of uh, Jerry's that um, is another Dylan picture. And this is a very, I think this is one of his most famous ones. Yeah. Because it's... it's um, we, we all know that, that pic. It's, yeah. It's so awesome. Yeah. And that one is uh, uh, from um, Wand on Wand. So you want to see this one? This oh, is the one I think. Oh, been oh here we go. Oh, I'm familiar with that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's just an incredible picture. Maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but standing to my father's left is my mom, and she's actually oh, wow. she's actually pregnant. pregnant. Is that you? No, no, no. no that, she's <laughs> pregnant with Moon, and then next to Gail is uh, Jimi Hendrix. Wow, yes. Unbelievable collection, Beth. Have you ever thought about having these appraised? The two here, I'd love to find out what... Uh, they can be appraised at. Okay, well, I, I know a guy. So, uh, <laughs> Stephen, maybe you could jump into the dark room and help Beth out. Well, Jerry Schatberg is a very, very iconic and famous photographer, and probably the photographs are more famous than he is, because everyone has seen some of these images. Uh, I, the the artist proof aspect of them intrigues me even more because they're rare and precious items and not something that everyone gets the opportunity to possess. 